back to Sunrise Daily. Lala Kone joins us now from our presidential aid. Good morning. Thank you for coming on today. Good morning. So that announcement came through yesterday. Of course, you have people who will punch the air in excitement that this is the case. Just listening or hearing the news. But I think some will be disappointed if they're not sure where they can find the services and make use of it before the timeline expires. But the thinking behind this, I mean, well, much as it's good to know or hear or see that um, there's some sort of at least concentration, but there are question marks about uh, the coverage and several other things. So for you, um, I mean, probably two caps now, you, uh, you have an idea of how government thinks when they are formulating this kind of policies. And then as a reporter, who will also be questioning those policies to see if it can stand the test of time. So what's your impression of this policy, this announcement? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that, um, uh, especially having listened to the previous uh, uh, segment, I, I think there are still places where government needs to cross the T's and dot the highs, you know. But I think clearly, you know, uh, and, you know, we, 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 we come hard on the government when we think we have to. But I think this is something that's a good gesture. And uh, I think we have to give uh, uh, we have to give them the credit uh, to in, in terms of trying to address you know what, what we have described as uh, as a crisis of insensitivity. This shows a little bit of being sensitive, you know, uh, to the people. A lot of people are going to be traveling. Normally, the fares go up, you know, uh, during these uh, festive seasons. So I will say that, you know, uh, uh, the government deserves uh, okay. some commendation, so, you know, for this gesture by itself, you know. So but like things, I said, there, there are still yeah. issues to be sorted out. So if governments were actually thinking to ensure that people don't get the short end of the stick during this period, what would I have thought, if they really wanted to address that for the poor people, or for everybody, or for most people who are in that sector, or those areas, what would have been wrong with them saying, you know what, we need to look into why, what are the, what's the basis of this transport cost going up arbitrarily in the first instance to address that before you then say, okay, we'll give 50% subsidy. Because it almost comes across as though they're saying, okay, well, yeah, increasing the affairs for whatever reason seems justified, but we'll give you something so that people don't yeah. feel the end. And then secondly, to Okay, maybe you should respond to that before I uh, and, 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 that. and that's the hard uh, part of, of, of governance. You know, and, and one of the things that I have found out is that if number one, you know, and I mean the president, mm -hmm. if, if the number one is not hands-on and insisting on the result, you know, people can easily just drop the ball very easily. And I've, I've seen that in my, in my eight years, that this is, what, this is what we're supposed to do, this is the objective, if you don't have somebody who is actually doing a almost a daily monitoring, you know, uh, requiring you to be accountable, things mm. just fall to the cracks. Which, which goes to your point that look. So, what is the long term plan to assuage, you know, the 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 the, the, the high cost of transportation? You know, especially since after the uh, subsidy removal, and I, I have said that look, one of the things that we should have seen a lot of uh, activities on is the CNG. Now, I, th I think that is picking up, you know, little by little now, you know. But, yes, I mean, there should be, there should normally be an overview of everything, but it takes a lot of work, and that work must start from so, the president who will insist okay. on, on, on the results. Now, that question also comes to the back of, I mean, in some climes where you, you've been largely in the States, where even if you have to do certain transactions mm. in those climes, you know even if you are in this climb, doing business in that climb, yeah. you could almost be confident that, look, people won't take advantage of you because the rules and the laws and processes are there. They're well established. Yeah. Even if they're going to have their profit margin, there's a certain trajectory threshold right. that they can't cross. Mm. And if they dare cross it, the law will come down very hard yeah, on those be, people. Yeah, so that's why government is there to ensure that those things exist in the first place. So mm. if they don't exist, I mean, as a journalist, how are you then going to interrogate some of this and if they tell you, well, if there's no data, your report won't make sense if you're filing any report. Mm. Well, I, I, I mean, you're, you're right. And, and I think one of the things that they are actually going to get, if this is done properly, is that they're going to get a lot of very important data. 
you know, about, about people traveling, about how many people traveling at particular times, you know, uh, if, if this is properly managed, they can actually get a lot more information that can help going forward to try to address, especially in that sector, the, the challenges of transportation, road transportation. But it is very important that we get this right in that state governments should also play a role. You know, I mean, if, if, uh, if all we are doing is just uh, uh, those of us in Abuja, those of them in governments in Abuja, trying to sort this out without the state government, that may be, you know, something may be wrong there. It's important to also engage the state government to say that, look, this is the number of uh, buses in your state that are going to be taking off and arriving, you know, uh, because they also have a lot of uh, control, if not influence, on the road transport uh, uh, workers there. Most of the time, well, they're actually look, under the state let's government. Let's not forget, really, look, how many people actually go to the bus parks and pick... Most people who would rather use their cars and travel. Most people drive and travel. And part of the reasons why, because again, the data, we don't have a lot of those to actually interrogate and find out whether or not this will address. And it's not only SUVs that travel on the I'm road. Trying In to case I think it's for big people Simply. that travel on the roads. <laughs> no, I'm trying not to chuckle. So I, I, I almost assumed for a moment that Chamberlain was going to say most people don't go to the parks and they just go to the roadside yeah. and that's how they travel. Uh, you know, during the season, I know that the FRSC is also risky. there advising people yeah. go to designated parks. parks yeah. But you still find that because people are trying to cut costs. Yeah. They will go to the roadside and, and see and, how it is that they can yeah. enter those that are loaded. It's mm. extremely risky, but yeah. people are still doing it. Especially now. Especially in this season. Mm. So um, what I'm really curious about is because government is supposed to be the greatest good to the greatest number. Yeah. You know, mm. uh, yes, that, that's what it's supposed yeah. to yeah. be about. And so there, there have been questions as to whether they have deployed any data because i was just asking mr okiria now about how many people they can take on a daily basis if you say zero fare how many people would this really affect uh i'm looking at all the routes that they operate um internally by internally i mean even in interstate and interstate and the figures i'm seeing here is about twelve thousand people a day mm. that is really 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 my news. It's a far cry. It's a far, exactly. It's yeah. a far it's cry from the number of people yeah, I, I, compared to how much we're going to be spending. Um, you know, so, know so, 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 be, so he gave an idea. He says that for own, 410 uh, million for diesel. for diesel alone. It doesn't cover the cost of cleaners mm -hmm. and because all of these services are things that they provide. So. Right. Let us we'll just wrap up and say maybe 600 million. Um, this is me just doing it off the top of my head. Mm. Um, that's not how much you have said. <laughs> it could be about that. It, it might not be more than that. that. But let's just say 600 million there mm. about. Mm. Can we really say that, you know, and this is just for real transportation to maybe 12,000 people uh, a, a day uh, yeah. over a period of 15 days, looking at how much you're going to be spending. Can we really say that how much the amount that government is spending is truly justifiable? Would that really be the greatest goal to the greatest number? Yeah, well, you know, I, I, I see your point very clearly. Uh, but I think it's important to say that whatever government spends, you know, uh, in, 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 in this kind of gesture, in this kind of service, uh, is, is well worth it, you know. Um, because at the end of the day, like you said, government ought to be and should be about the people. I mean, we, 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 we need to, and I think Mr. Okira, you know, uh, made some, uh, some points along that line that, look, some of these things essentially social service. You know, that's what it ought to be. You know, so, so we don't have to, it's not every time that we calculate, you know, uh, the cost and the profit and all of those stuff. Yeah, of course, it should be accountable. Now, this, is not, this is not about profit. No, I'm just now, saying. if we were to, you know, implement subsidies, because this is some form of subsidy, yeah? Yeah, yeah? temporary. Um, you have to ask where is it that we can give subsidies in such a way that it would affect the greatest number. Isn't that that's where, essentially the question so, so, that I'm so asking? The, the point that I'm, that I'm making that I was getting to is that if you listen to uh, Mr. Delialaki yesterday, uh, he did say that there will be mini buses and then there will be luxury buses. Now I hope that the mini buses means those buses that you find in the park that are not luxury buses, which I think we seem to carry the, more people. The 16 seaters. 
Yeah, oh. the 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 heat, uh, the, the do they call it E twenty and the, you know that uh, you know those those uh, yeah, in but, advance but if, yeah, the fine. So so mm -hmm. let me make point. So so if those are included, you know you are going to get a, a bit of impact. But if it is only the luxury buses, you know, and, the, and I, I saw a list that is uh, trending on social media that has a list of all the companies they're going to use and they're you know, for the luxury buses and it's going to be fifty one seater buses, you know, not not that that is bad. But they have, it has to include those buses, those mini buses that we find in the parts. You know, it, it will be very important that those, one, those ones are also involved so that the number can be enlarged. But you're right, you know, how many is it going to be at the end of the day? We're going to find out, you know, we're going to decide that I think it's going to happen. That we're going to get a lot of that data about people traveling, how many people travel, and all, all, all those kind of stuff that can also help in, in, in planning going forward. And, and, and I agree that, the, yeah, this can be done uh, in a much bigger way, uh, but I, 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 I don't mind the fact that they are starting. You know, in, there, there, there's some signs of of uh, sensibility that okay, look, what can we just do for now? For it, it's not a bad idea. I understand. I, and yeah. to be honest, I think it's a great idea as well. But I mean, my my optimism usually dies when it comes to implementation with my country. You know, when, when, it, comes <laughs> when, we, when it comes to the nitty gritty. After all, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I, for instance, I mean, I've just thinking in my head. Wouldn't it have made more sense for us to say, for this season, if you drive into an an NPC, an NPC station, and the, there are lots of them in in almost every state. Right. You know, maybe you get to buy fuel at at this price. That covers everybody. I don't know how much that will be. That will cover a lot of people. There might be queues at NPC station, yeah. but for those who decide I don't want to go to an NPC, it was your choice. You know, you're removing your glasses. Bring back I'm just, stuff. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Few subsidies there, right there. What, right. This, <laughs> it's subsidy anyway. Some people will say it's you know there, there, there are different ways of there are many ways to skin a cat. Isn't that what they say? Mm. <laughs> so if the idea was to actually affect the pockets of the masses and make mm -hmm. sure that people have more money. Mm. On, in, in their hands, you know, there'll be, there'll be many ideas, I don't know, but this is what we currently have. Um, this idea of, you know, giving people... I'm also wondering if this doesn't... Because we, we haven't heard the details of how this is going to work, whether they're working with NURTW, mm -hmm. um, but Mr. Kiria was making reference to participating companies. Right. We also know that usually... Like luxury buses. No, no, not really luxury buses. They're, they're companies that also operate... Um, you know, this uh, is it. I don't even know. Is it 16 seater buses? Or there are companies that do that. A lot of companies that we know that do that. Mm. But people who patronize these companies, especially yeah. the ones that have their names on their buses, right. are people sometimes too who are at, at a certain level of comfort. The, exactly. The people who patronize the other. Uh, people who do not have names, who mm -hmm. are using uh, what they call it They are poor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll be surprised, Jimmeline. Are people who earn at a certain level. So uh, I'm really wondering whether there is really a way that government could have targeted this in such a way that it wants to be accountable, it wants mm -hmm. to be able to hold these people responsible. Uh, but at the same time, you also want to be able to affect the poorest of the poor. I mean, or you mm -hmm. want to be able to affect people who are between a certain earning class, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. Isn't it a very big dilemma? I, I hope you see the point I'm trying yeah, to yeah. make. Yeah, I, I, I see the point. Essentially, you're saying that, look, how, how can it be done to take more people in and are, are we just dealing with people who can afford a particular level of comfort with luxury buses? And that's why I said that it, it's important to also include all those minivans. It's very, very critical. That, and I'm, I'm hoping... Minivans that do not have names. Yeah, exactly. The ones that you find in the parks, you know, where they, they have the conductor hailing people, uh, you know, yep. Lagos. To include Lagos, those people. You know, no, no, no. I'm saying that the, 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 those, those buses... Those kind of parks. ...that are in the parks... Or you interstate know, travel. Where saying that, yeah, it's, it's, uh, we have about five more people to go and we are no. heading for, to Lagos from Ibadan. Those, I mean, the, 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 those buses are actually at the, at the center of you those know, transportation. That's Very important. part of why I was asking As long about. as that is in, included, I think they can, we can make a, a bit How of How feasible is it for government to include those classes of people, knowing that they're not usually registered? When I mean registered, I mean, like, it's not like they have a company name. You know, well, they, 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 it, 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 thank you for, for asking that question. It, it, it will interest you to know that those NURTW associations are very effective. They are extremely very effective in all the parts. Uh -oh. They Go have on. executives. 
All right. they, they, they even have offices in all the parks, and okay. they know we who is going another, so to where when. The thing is, look, if I were in government, that's what I was asking about, the thinking behind some of these things and how they think up there, because after all, they're there to do the hard thinking, the hard job. Critical thinking is very, very important at this point of our lives. And as always, but all I thought as well that they would have done this thing to ensure that they encourage people to be structured in that transport sector, because we don't have a structured transport system in the country. Mm. That is one way they could have said, listen, I'm looking to see how I can get people to see reason why they should structure themselves in that sector. But it's a different conversation entirely because, uh, let me ask this before we wrap up. Um, inside sources, let's kick it off tomorrow. Yes, yes. Uh, 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 As a new program by, by, by yourself. By, by Naya Hen. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the idea behind the program is to, is to bring to the fore the kind of information uh, that will be useful uh, generally for public interest, you know, uh, you, you've had the saying that information is power, you know, uh, and then you know, one, one of the most significant things that came out uh, in terms of communication and narratives in the last presidential election was when the, uh, now the president said that power is not served a la carte, you know, and, and he went all out to get the power, did he, you know, did he get a job. Now, the same thing, the power that we say is for the people, there has to be diligence in the way that it is also presented and actually procured. And so we need to give information to the people, otherwise the people will not have the power. And so Inside Sources is going to you know, try to attain that, to, to give the people information that will make the people to be powerful and that ultimately will serve uh, the public interest better. All right, so people need to look out for that program. It comes up tomorrow. Uh... Today's Thursday, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh. Okay, so 9 a.m. tomorrow. Make it a date with uh, Lalu on that day. So Thank you. Uh, let me quickly take a look at this message, if we can. It's about this 50% transport fare reduction. That dead and hokey size, I don't think this is the best way to go about it. We're going to have challenges with accountability. And also, many families use their private vehicles to travel. How are they going to benefit from this? If government truly wants to help Nigerians in this difficult time, what to do is to waive December pay to all employees or 50% of December pay Everybody will collect his money or her money from his employer along with his December salary. Mm. I think that way everybody will go home smiling. Mm. Well, I know that is far a lot more. Let me see now. First was Akimboyewa. The first time I traveled to UK in 1982, my return ticket was 452 Naira. But return ticket now is nearly 1.5 million Naira. It's absurd. I think government's discount is mere politics, as Nigeria's income has been squeezed by inflation, especially rising fuel and food right. prices. Okay, we're going to wrap up. Bayer was talking about uh, transfer. I see if we don't see logistics. They always come late for elections. Okay, uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. That's the show. Goodbye. I'm Chamberlain and so. Well, all the best. Thank you for writing in. I'm out well going yourself. <laughs> Thank you for your emails. We'll take more tomorrow. I am Bukola Koka. Now, let you have the last say, Chamberlain. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm Aiyo Makindi. <laughs>